down on yesterday's nuclear test. South Korean defense officials saying they have seen potential preparations for a missile launch out of the north, and they have said potentially it's an ICBM, a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile. So yesterday, the north tested this, their sixth nuclear test, which they claim was a miniaturized hydrogen bomb. And if today's missile test goes ahead, they will effectively be testing a possible delivery system for that bomb. Well, today, Nikki Haley at the UN said enough was enough. Only the strongest sanctions will enable us to resolve this problem through diplomacy. We have kicked the can down the road long enough. There is no more road left. South Korea also responded today with live fire exercises of their own with both air and ground launched rockets. The drills by the South simulated a strike on the nuclear site where North Korea carried out that supposed H bomb test. The U.S. also yesterday reminding people that it had options. They're not looking to the total annihilation of a country, namely North Korea. But as I said, we have many options to do so. The continued provocations have led to a dangerous face-off between North Korea and the world amid global condemnation. Now, South Korean defense officials have told their parliament the U.S. may seek to deploy a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to the region and the peninsula. And all this comes just days after North Korea fired a medium-range ballistic missile over Japan. And for the first time, North Korea has also specifically mentioned the possibility of using an electromagnetic pulse attack on the U.S., which could sow chaos and destruction far wider than a conventional Weapon. So North Korea really on the path of provocation just two weeks after Secretary Tillerson said they appeared to be showing restraint. And now the world is just trying to figure out what they can do after this meeting. Sanctions do not seem to be working. So the question is, what next? In that, in that big uh, North Korean holiday coming up in just a couple of days, which often brings uh, even more provocations and harsh words. Benjamin Hall in London. Benjamin, thank you.